see here in this problem here a state space equation is given and uh, what is the initial value theorem uh, we know that this is the state equation and this is called as output equation so in state equation the standard form is x dot of t equal to ax plus bu and output equation cx plus du so where a b c or d are the matrices so where a is called as the state matrix and b is called as the input matrix and c is called as output matrix and d is called as transmission matrix so from the given problem a matrix a is got minus 2 0 0 minus 3 and b matrix is 1 1 so b matrix is called as input matrix and we got output matrix that is c equal to 1 1 and transmission matrix is given 0 is there so it means it is not equal given here so that equal to 0 so d equal to 0 ok now we want the trans function from the given state space equation we know that relation that is t of s equal to c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus d so this is the trans function we will get from the state space equation no substitute here then we will get c here we have 1 1 si means s 0 0 s minus a means minus 2 0 0 minus 3 we have whole inverse and into b matrix that is 1 1 plus d matrix so d matrix is 0 here no need to here mention ok now by simplifying this we will get 2s plus 5 divided by s plus 5 into s plus 2 so this is the trans function t of s now we want the initial value theorem we know that initial value theorem that is limit s tends to infinity s into t of s means at s tends to infinity what is the limit of the function so this is called as a initial value theorem now substitute here this limit s tends to infinity s into t of s is 2s plus 5 divided by s plus 5 into s plus 2 now explain on the numerator and denominator the equation so then the expression will becomes limit s tends to infinity 2x square plus 5s on the numerator or the denominator will get s square plus 5s plus 6 so if we substitute the s tends to infinity so it becomes an infinity ok so for that that means infinity by infinity so due to this reason we are going to apply the last hospital rule so whenever infinity by infinity or 0 by 0 will become so use the last petal rule that means apply the differentiation on the numerator and denominator so then we get limit s tends to infinity so on the denominator by applying the derivative we get 4s plus 5 on the denominator we get 2s plus 5 now bring the s common here then we get limit s tends to infinity s into 4 plus 5 by s divided by s into 2 plus 5 by s so here s is cancelled so then it becomes limit s tends to infinity 4 plus 5 by s divided by 2 plus 5 by s now substitute s tends to infinity so then by by infinity means 0 and here also 0 so 4 by 2 so that's equal to 2 so from the options option is the correct option for the given problem